Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, yellow shaded semicircle with the center O, along with these uh, perpendiculars uh, C, D, and uh, E, F uh, inside uh, this uh, semicircle. As you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, this uh, C, D is uh, one unit, whereas this segment uh, E, F is uh, two units. And both of these uh, perpendiculars are uh, three units apart. And furthermore, uh, this uh, diameter of this semicircle uh, is uh, AB. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded uh, semicircle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we could calculate the area of this uh, semicircle, we must uh, find the value of its uh, radius uh, lowercase r. And now we are go going to connect uh, this center O with this uh, point uh, C, as you can see in this uh, next step. And likewise, I'm going to connect this center O with this uh, point E as well, as you can see this uh, as well. And now we can see that this uh, OC is the radius uh, of this uh, semicircle. So I'm going to label this one as uh, lowercase r. Likewise, this uh, OE is the radius uh, as well. So this is going to be lowercase r as well. And now our task is uh, to find the value of uh, radius r. And now we are going to assume that this segment uh, D O, I'm going to label this one as uh, lowercase a. And we know this whole uh, segment uh, D F is uh, three units. So therefore, uh, this uh, remaining segment O F is going to be three minus a. So this is going to be three minus a. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, O D C. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, our hypotenuse is lowercase r, whereas our two other legs are uh, lowercase a and one. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So we are going to have uh, a square plus uh, one square equal to r square. Let's simplify furthermore. That's going to give us a square plus one square is same as one equal to r square. And I'm going to label this one as our equation number one. And now we are going to focus on this uh, other right triangle uh, EFO. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle as well. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, uh, our hypotenuse is lowercase r, whereas our two other legs are uh, 3 minus a and uh, 2. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, 3 minus uh, a whole uh, square plus uh, 2 square equal to lowercase r square. And now let's recall this famous identity, a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus 2ab plus b square. We are going to apply it on this uh, binomial on the left hand side of this equation. So therefore this is going to become 9 minus uh, 6 times uh, a plus uh, a square plus 2 square is 4 equals to r square. Let's combine the like terms. So we're going to have uh, 13 minus 6 times uh, a plus uh, a square equals to r square. I'm going to label this one as our equation number 2. So thus we are ended up with these uh, two equations, equation 1 and equation 2. And now we are going to compare these two equations. We can see our right hand sides are identical. So therefore we can equate uh, the left hand sides uh, as well. So therefore we can write uh, 13 minus 6 times uh, a 
plus so a square is going to be equal to a square plus 1 and here we can see a square and a square they cancel each other out so therefore we are ended up with uh, 13 minus uh, 6 uh, a equals to positive 1 and now I'm going to subtract uh, 13 from both sides this is uh, gone so therefore negative 6 uh, times uh, a turns out to be negative uh, 12 and now we are going to divide both sides by negative 6 to isolate a this is gone so therefore our lowercase a value turns out to be 2 units so thus our this uh, lowercase a value turns out to be 2 units and now let's focus on this uh, equation 1 and here I have copied down equation 1 over here and I'm going to substitute uh, a value as a 2 over here. So therefore we are going to have a 2 square plus uh, 1 is going to give us uh, r square. And that is going to be 4 plus 1 equal to r square. Or in other words uh, our r square value is going to be simply 5. And here's our final step. Now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded uh, semicircle. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area is always equal to pi r square, where r is the radius. And since we are dealing with this uh, semicircle, so therefore uh, semicircle uh, area is going to be simply this uh, area pi r square and then we are going to divide it by 2 so therefore uh, this uh, yellow semicircle area is going to be pi divided by 2 times our r square value is uh, 5 i'm going to substitute over here and if we simplify the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 2 point uh, 5 times uh, pi square uh, units uh, and that's the area of the yellow semicircle so thus after all the calculations and manipulations the yellow shaded uh, semicircle area turns out to be 2.5 uh, times pi square units and that is going to be approximately equal to 7.85 square units as well and that's our final answer Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.